what damage is done. Bad roads. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> nothing moved. Oh my god. Now, uh, this jumped up. Did it? It did before, though. So. I'm glad that we tightened those bottom straps at the last stop. Yeah. Because they were too loose on both of these. And they were about to slip off. Yeah, and they're both still holding just fine. Nice! Yay! This, uh, why is this out so much? What? Oh, oh. There's like uh, a Because the, the cardboard box. Oh, okay, okay. It's, I don't think there's a problem with it. Oh, awesome! The trailer did awesome! And it's all because of this little thing up here, I bet. The strap that I had pulled this over fell, but I mean, I don't even think it's... Oh, yeah, the, the one... It's going to keep rubbing up there. It's going to keep rubbing, so yeah, we'll... And check the bikes, too, because I bet some straps broke on those. I bet not. I'm pretty sure if they were going to break straps for that, it was going to already... Wow, I actually broke. Snap it, snapped it. It snapped in a spot I wouldn't have expected. It's out of that It's been can. dribbling. It's been dribbling fuel out. Oh, it's still got, it's sloshing around. There's still a ton in there. Oh, wow. Okay. Should uh, we shove not, some paper towels in nothing. the... It's not hurting nothing. Well, it might get down in these, though. No, it can't. Okay. Because we could just shove paper towels in the hole. If you want to go get some, sure. Okay, I will. shoes okay? One of them looks like they're hanging funny. No, shoes at the front. Your uh, cycling shoes? Oh yeah, they're fine. Are any of the straps broken on the bikes? Not that I can see yet so far. Well, I'm very no. happy with that. That. No, they're all fine. I'm very happy with that. Yeah, all right. So, so, I think one of the biggest reasons why this road fine is because of this. This load equalizer hitch that Mike put on before we left. We had to do a little customization so that it attached as far back as possible but um, he welded on a little bracket here so that this whole thing could move all the way back until it touched which helped with the angle and helps it ride better but man it it helped
So, uh, stop number two is in Puebla at the Fiesta Inn. We've stayed here before. Great tacos. But uh, another great benefit is an ATM right here in the lobby. Yep. Big benefit. Get as much cash as <laughs> you could possibly need for the rest of your trip, and then you don't have to try to track one of these down. Uh, it's a nice it's a nice hotel. It's always empty. Hey, we never got, completely empty. We never got my car back. From here? Yeah. It never gave it back to me. Oh, no. Oh, wait. No, it didn't. Scared no, the crud no, out of me. It didn't. Nothing too spectacular with the room. <laughs> you can... I come with it. <laughs> well, then we. I got a good deal. Um, but you can, you can smell that it doesn't get used very often. <laughs> a little musty, but, uh, big TV, which I guess is important to people. Big bed. Turn some lights on here. Bathtub. Toilet. Closet. Vanity. Safe. Give you an, uh, an, an iron and an ironing board. And a safe. Yep, safe. And it was uh, about 1,100 pesos for the night. And we are just coming into downtown Puebla here. Holiday Inn next door. Yep. Holiday Inn does not have the good parking these guys have, though. And you can see our truck from our room. Yep, there so. it is.